President Joe Biden dropping out of the 2024 presidential race has forged a path for Vice President Kamala Harris to get on the ticket this November. 22 News reporter Christina DeMores joins us live in studio tonight and has more on lawmakers backing her presidential campaign. That's right, Sierra. Just today, Congressman Richard Neal endorsing Harris, and he says the stakes for this election have not changed. He demonstrated time and again the patience of a president who had had great experience in working with the national legislature. Congressman Richard Neal reflecting on President Joe Biden's four years as commander in chief. Now that Biden is stepping down from the presidential race, a growing number of politicians, including Neal, are backing Vice President Kamala Harris for the Democratic ticket. And with just 100 days until the election, the stakes remain high. If you took the 10 worst presidents in the history of the United States, I think we're reminded once again of the chaos that is likely to consume the country if the former president prevails. Looking ahead, Neil says that the Democratic National Committee is planning to lay out a strategy to ensure that Harris is the nominee. As for winning the election, a part of that may come down to who Harris chooses for her running mate. Potential candidates range from Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg to potential all-female ticket with Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer. I think that there are three or four that have an electoral college claim on the job, but I'm for picking somebody who gets at least one state because that's how close this election is going to be. A new race for the White House, making history as the days count down to November. Neil is also criticizing claims that Biden is unfit to finish his term, adding that the debate raised the question whether or not Biden could win, but that it's different from whether he can or cannot serve out his time as president. Working for you tonight, Christina DeMores, 22 News.